This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level Zero NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. I really... <laughs> I hope that there's not somebody out there who's, like, really bad at reading social cues. <laughs> And for like, you know, the the six to eight hours before the in-between episodes on Saturday, they're not like, oh, shit, <laughs> this is done. <laughs> I really hope. Just goes out and just starts looting, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Over our show. Uh, the well, it is the end of existence. Yeah. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're yeah. turns out we're gonna keep doing this. Yeah, you know, we're a little it, it, it sunk cost fallacy or something. I yeah, guess, but. yeah. Um, so I think uh, how do we want to do the questions? Do we just want to just do them? Well, yeah, yeah let's just do them. For we now. can just we'll, answer we'll questions. Just, like come up with a proper name for it and everything like that sometime between now and the next episode. So. So I'm gonna read. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna always yeah, read. Let's get let's get some questions. I'm always gonna read questions from the first uh, video first, and yep. uh, the second video second, and uh, that's the way it's gonna be. So friggin' that's fair, especially if and when I don't transcribe them from our YouTube comment section to our Slack channel because we have a questions for glory channel on our sort of group Slack that we use to coordinate levels your NPCs recordings and what have you but I'm bad at doing it so like the entire weeks go by where we get plenty of questions and I just don't go to the effort of hitting copy and paste I'll even go to the YouTube studio page and check and go oh there are questions that's great I'll read through them like okay yeah yeah we could answer this one we can answer these and then I just like all I really have to do is highlight Control C, go to Slack, open that channel, and hit Control V. But I don't sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you might be bad at it, but at least you do something. Sometimes. Yeah. All, all Alex I and I do sometimes. is show up. If that. If if that. Hey, you draw the splash art. Yeah, I shit that out in like an hour the other day. <laughs> <laughs> That's nothing. We can do it. Like, I mean, I, if we want to get a little inside baseball, the reason that uh, Freddy Farkas episode one aired at like noon instead <laughs> of 9 a.m. <laughs> it's because Matt forgot to do the uh, the Freddy Farkas. I did. So, I did. Yeah. I, I actually he did it in the morning while I was still asleep. I but. actually woke up and uh, did it in bed. I didn't even nice. get out of bed. I just grabbed my iPad and did that that splash art and uh, it's done. that's that's a sign of true talent though like <laughs> a good piece of art that matt like really put only the effort to not even like get out of bed and 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 like sit up straight while doing it i mean that's the way i would prefer to do all my art on my ipad in bed like honestly <laughs> God, like, we live in a golden age. Like, back in the old days, like, I would, like, with, like, paper? Gross. Or, like, uh, or, like, and, and then we got, like, I got a Cintiq, which is awesome. Next level, great for drawing. But I have to sit in front of my computer. Now, with the iPad, man, I just, anywhere, 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 except the bath. You don't want to take that in the bath. One day, though, one day. One day when we're rich and famous, you'll just have, like, a stack of them, like, playing cards. <laughs> yeah. Matt kind of does that already, I, Well, I did. I don't... I can't anymore. I can't... There was, there was this one glory anymore. day where, like, we went to play D&D <laughs> at Matt's place, and we saw him use an iPad as a mouse pad. <laughs> and we yes. sort of never let him live it down. And, like, a coaster <laughs> and shit. Like, so, just iPads that were sitting around, and we, we, Matt had no concern for them. We had an iPad that we... <laughs> I, need, I feel like I need to defend myself. I, <laughs> <laughs> we had an iPad that we bought as a family, and it was great. And then I got an iPad from work. And uh, back in, like, 
with the early days of the iPad, I hate to say it, but you didn't need two. Like, you didn't. Like, everything you needed could be done on one. So I would keep my work iPad around, and then I would just... I would, yeah, so I needed a mouse pad. It was right there. It was perfect, by the way. The back of one? Mm. Yeah, great mouse pad surface. Anyway, yeah. It's not like I have stacks of them. You weren't wrong. It was just astonishing. <laughs> and I, it was a little funny, I will admit, yeah. Anyway, yeah, um, <laughs> farting horses. Uh, so... Onward, fart storm, my noble steed. <laughs> fart storm. Uh, Lord Senal has a prescription for Farkas. Um, I agree it would have been cool to see this as an ongoing series in the vein of the Conquest series. Like, the second game could have been Harry Hardball, Hillbilly Hacksaw, where you played a surgeon in the Appalachians during the same era. That would have been cool. I, uh, I, I read through the entirety of his uh, response to that. Yeah, where he got um, chat GPT to, to generate a synopsis for the game. If you guys really, you should go on there and read it. It's pretty great. Yes. Yeah. I'd play it. Honestly, I would play I would it play too. That. I would play it too. It would be cool to see like a sawbones surgeon given the same kind of mechanical detail that this game has oh, when you're grinding yeah. and mixing pills. Like just doing like janky Wild West surgery. <laughs> <laughs> like giving someone ether and then just digging the bones out of him. <laughs> it's digging the bones out of I him. I meant to say bullets, but I said bones instead. And, you know. <laughs> I think it works. Well, you dig the bullet. Like the bullets are, you know, strong metal. You leave those in, take the bones. Yeah, no, I, I understand. Mom, you better keep everyone inside till I can get this horse flatulence thing straightened out. Not that it's any of your business, but I'll be keeping my customers in here as long as I can. Of course, if they just want to keep ordering weak tea and you want a biscuits, I'll just toss their butts into the streets. Can't make a money selling tea and freaking biscuits. <laughs> Howdy, Sarah. Any big productions planned this season? She ignores you. Apparently, she doesn't like to be interrupted in mid-slander. Taking a... It's Penelope. Just look at the way she sits at that table and eats and talks. Isn't she simply dreamy? Quit making fun of my sweetheart. You're not the boss of me. <laughs> well, you can't think of anything to say to that. That, well, that is Penelope. Oh, there you go. Penelope, be, be careful. For some reason, the horses in town are expelling huge quantities of poison gas. It's not safe outside. My hero! I'll stay inside till it's safe. Thank you, Freddy. You may have just saved my life. She coyly adds, I suppose I'll have to find a way to repay your kindness. If that's all right with you. <laughs> why, sure. I, I mean, <clears throat> wow. Hot dog, Penelope. I mean, er, sounds good. It's an old empty can of P&W beans. The firm, crisp beans that smell as savory on the way out as they do on the way in. Confirming that that is a bean can. In fact, I should have remembered that I needed it. Hey, Mom, would you mind if I took this empty can? If you must, I suppose there's more where that came from. In fact, I insist you take it. Get it out of here. I'm sick of the sight of it. Got ourselves a can. 
It weighs a thousand pounds. Because it's so huge. Oh, yeah, right. Five times the size of my body mass. Uh, Yidras has, says, uh, Farkin questions. Now that you're in the Old West, are Matt's impressions culturally relevant now? <laughs> <laughs> We're all old. Yidras, come on. It's true. We're all... We're all old. <laughs> it's hurtful. <laughs> if Lou was here, he'd get it. I don't know. I don't know. What do, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my best. Uh, you yeah, guys... back to doing his best. You guys don't want me to... Uh, hey. Oh, hey. Th this reminds me, since we're near the bridge. Um, yep. <laughs> oh, never mind. Saving the game, perhaps? <laughs> no. It's fine. Loading the game? I just, I think we're going to forget, I think we're going to forget all about the fact that we were going to redo all that. But we're going to remember it when it's far too late. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> it's like, what a unique piece of content that should be. <laughs> like. <laughs> um, the Bridiger. Uh, Reload Ping before load. the Bridiger. B Bridiger. Um, that'll stand as a testament to when we go back to that point in the game, and uh, we even left late. ourselves a note and then forgot. Yep. We definitely are going to forget. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, uh, Farkin question from Spivey Lou. Oh fuck! Hold on. Digging through Smithy's formerly white hot forge, you find an unused hunk of charcoal, which you decide may well be of use to you. Can I just say? Yep. I'm really liking being the narrator here. More than any of the characters. I just like the narrator. Yeah, the narrator's a little sassy. Yeah. Also, Fun. it's weird if you're like a pharmacist going about your business. To walk past a blacksmith shop, take a piece of charcoal, and just put it in your pocket. In fact, it's weird to just pick up a strange piece of charcoal and keep it in your pocket. <laughs> well, in this particular case, we have a reason to. That's something a, a toddler would do. <laughs> <laughs> Can confirm, I've seen it. Uh, I'm... I'm gonna. I'm. I'll say first of all that I already know the solution here, uh, and I did a quick skim of the manual, but I couldn't find where, and so I don't remember if it is specifically written in the manual. But I think it is uh, to give you basically the instructions on how to build a gas mask, right? So that you can be out for, for prolonged periods of time in. Uh, in well gaseous areas so uh full disclosure if i stand around you actually let's uh we'll we'll do our our next question for glory or sorry our next uh freddie farkas question um while i'm not in the pause screen and eventually i will die of <laughs> gas inhalation of horse <laughs> fart what a thing to of die horse of farts that's right yeah i will just die of horse farts but um, and then we'll load the game and, and continue onward. But it's cool that um, we're MacGyvering ourselves a gas mask. Yeah, but it talks about like a charcoal filter, right? And so you gotta go and find charcoal um, and make yourself a proper mask that you can, you know, bring tight to your face. Make sure you reload before the bridge. All right. Yes. Okay. So Sp I'm saved. I'm just gonna go kind of over here ish. And uh, we're just gonna yeah. wait around. Uh, so, so there's gonna be some farts that are interrupting Matt while he goes, but that's fine. Let's, let's go. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, so Spivey Lou, what's what's uh, what's you gonna say? Spivey says, uh, actually, <laughs> Spivey says, uh, actually working on a Rosella costume for later this year, and nice. yeah, isn't that awesome? And looking at screenshots uh, from King's Quest Six. Or seven, sorry, reminded me of the time uh, I think it was that Luke busted into Rosella's song at the end of the credits. Nailed it, actually. I'm curious during this palate cleanser, what's some of y'all's favorite ri completely ridiculous moments from your Sierra playthrough so far? 
<laughs> My new favorite is Matt trying to keep a straight face while the horse farts in his ear. <laughs> that's, that's so good. So juvenile, but so funny. It's fine. I got through it. I no, you did amazing. Question. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have been able to do it. I got through the question. It was fine. <laughs> Reading your question while the horse oh, farts. Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm almost um, embarrassed how effective this bit of comedy is on me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, fart jokes are timeless and, like, perfect. So they unite us, you know? Yeah. Everybody loves a good fart joke. Well, we're, uh, we well, all, we're we, between save games. We all of us um, started out on, uh, we all of us started out as an asshole. Like, uh, like all God-fearing deuterostomes. Oh, a child is playing by the side of the bridge. How charming. Too bad about that, you know. Guess Freddy's constitution couldn't handle the noxious fumes that was expectorating through town. Yep. Seems to me a man with his education should have known what to do about a simple bit of flatulence, but hey, I'm just a simple wetland sort of storytelling entertaining kind of guy yep yep <laughs> now that's my story for now now get along into bed it's past your bedtime yeah go oh nice we do we do gotta inhale that is gruesome oh <laughs> it stinks so bad our eyes popped out <laughs> that's that a hell of a smell also, a uh, a reference to the uh, to the early Clinton administration. <laughs> Next time, uh, don't inhale. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That really, you know, most people would not get. Yeah, this era. Uh, but since we're still save- between save games, I'm gonna um, see. Cross the bridge. You're gonna you're gonna check the bridge. I'm gonna cr- go across the bridge. There's a little Easter egg that. Uh, is it always about three crossings left? I don't know, but that is good to know, at least. Okay, no, no, not yet. Um, Alright, so sorry. Uh, yeah, so Spivey's yeah, wondering completely ridiculous moments from our Sierra playthroughs since for the last, I don't know, like six years. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, so, so question- many. Yeah, that I have is more like. Are we talking about bits that we ourselves came up came up with, or like just the the weirdest just things sh- that happened? Just the weird shit we did. Um, like Matt spontaneously deciding that Jim Walls is very like posh and <laughs> British. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of God the uh, the the Irish police captain. Holy shit. <laughs> Captain Dooley. Yeah, and there was one of them had a Kermit voice. Mm, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Police Quest yes. was was a wacky time. Yeah, no, that that was Police all pretty Quest. inspired. Police Quest. Police Quest was uh, us definitely finding our uh, our voice. He- Here's the problem. I think like Police Quest takes itself so seriously. Yeah. Which <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Sort of a fuck. Sort of, <laughs> sort of a, a, allowed us to to go to go wild with it. Um, yeah. We did sing all of uh, "Girl in the Tower" for uh, King's That's Quest true. King's Quest Six, right? Like we totally did, right? I think so. Yeah. Um, go back and check the tapes, but yeah, I did sing along with the. Um, uh, Lamb Beyond Dreams song from the beginning of uh, King's Quest Seven. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one uh, of my one of my favorite episodes. I don't know if it's um, like wasn't really wacky, you know, but it was a uh, uh, a horse with no code name. Oh yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, Matt and Andrew performing. Uh, Matt, Matt and Andrew performing a horse with no name uh, while Luke crashes a submarine a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was a classic. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
uh, it was my my first appearance, but also the um, the horrific head cannon of Wario's Woods was quite fun to talk about too. Oh yeah, 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 that was great. Oh yeah, if we're going outside of Sierra Games, there was a there was a moment in GTA where I was diving to the bottom of the sea to die. Yes, and I sang a song about it. <laughs> That What's was so... at the bottom of the sea? <laughs> Let's all Let's go to the... What's at the bottom <laughs> of the sea? <laughs> and then I died. It was great. Yeah. It's classic. Oh, it's my death. <laughs> Wasted. Wasted. The timing was perfect. Anyway, yeah, we've done some crazy shit. I, I think, like, like Police Quest is really good if you want crazy shit. Like, this more serious the game... The the honestly the 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 more we sort of as uh, Lou would say take the piss out of it. Um, yeah, so. I think one of the funniest bits to me is uh, <laughs> Julinar just being a random tree that someone just turned into a person. Like the original <laughs> Julinar is still a tree, and he's like, "Fuck, <laughs> she got turned into a tree. I should save her." And he goes back, but he gets the wrong tree and turns a random tree into Julinar. Because, like, the the idea that every tree is secretly covetous of, like, the warmth and locomotion of mammals was such a terrifying fucking Doctor Who premise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, um... Yeah, no, like we we've done some pretty pretty terrible episodes, but we've done some pretty great ones too in the past. So you know, Manhunter, uh, all of Manhunter. Um, wow, Manhunter and Iceman are just two of those games that like just surviving them is yeah, you just got a get crazy thing to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, but I I think yeah the the amount of like antics that we get into do seem to be in direct like reverse uh, uh, proportion to the amount that the game is taking itself seriously. It's true. Although like I, I, I played through, and that's definitely true because I played through uh, almost all of space quest six. So angry. So <laughs> <laughs> like, I, it's true. I have not done a drunken rant episode since. Um, and uh or before came close yeah yeah well we've played some really shitty uh uh wedsness day games back in the old days when we used to play uh also snes true. games fucking i if if i ever see bubsy again i'm gonna fucking explore the bridge. <laughs> there's more bubsy to play fucking bubsy oh what a horrible there's game. a nintendo 64 <laughs> 3d platforming bubsy game fuck bubsy could quote me <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag fuck Bubsy. <laughs> uh, and and like some of the like like almost like so many of the voice choices in Police Quest too. Uh, all throughout all of Sierra Saturday, um, Matt's unhinged voice decisions for characters, <laughs> even like innocuous ones, like making the dog man a coot. <laughs> Like a voice that would be appropriate for a character in this game. I I only saw it really rankle Luke one time when I just I made one of like the the one of the guys who sells the cars in like or, or rents out cars in the airport in Police Quest Two, Andre the Giant or something. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't. I don't remember I, that. You were like, <laughs> I just remember you being exasperated. We, I mean, I might be wrong. Because God knows, if only there was somewhere some record of it that we could check. But I remember no, lost uh, in lost to time and space. I remember oh. talking like this to trying to ask the questions. About- <laughs> oh, we. I feel like that would be something I would wholeheartedly endorse. <laughs> yeah, so. but oh, yeah. we 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 love Matt, but you do hit a wall sometimes. Oh yeah, <laughs> I have to live with me. Trust me, I know that wall. <laughs> um. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Th- well, thanks. Yeah, that was a good question. Thank you. That was a good question. I've got a pun for Freddie Farkas, but I'm not proud of it. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Frontier Farm, P H A R M, hyphen, assistance. <laughs> oh, Frontier Farm assistance. 
Oh. Maybe just assists. Oh, assists. For, for people who want assistance. Yeah. With, you know, frontier, frontiers. Frontier farm assists. Or, oh. It's yeah. done. It's uh, done. Like I'm, that's what it's gonna I'm, be. I'm bummed about it. Like I wanted to make that clear to the PCs. No, like, I've been, no. Pro- I've been a little quiet this episode because I've been trying to find uh, alternatives. And no, that's what it is, and and we're all sad. And that's yeah. how I know it's right. It's a sad yeah. day. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. that's yeah. how we know it's the right choice. I think. And, and the beauty of it all is, I actually manually recreated the Freddy Farkas Frontier Pharmacist logo. For the uh, for the uh, splash screen, so I already have a Photoshop file that I can just edit uh, okay. for when people ask, when people send us their Frontier Farm assists. Yeah. Okay, so are we gonna go for farm assists or farm assistants? We I, have to... I'm I'm happy with either. Dealer's choice. F- f- Dealer's far- choice. F- farm assistants is what we are offering. Assistance, but uh, yeah. if if farm assists is a deeper, kind of more grating pun. <laughs> which it, we might as well do that, I guess. Yeah, it's sort of, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it feels like the worst version of it, and therefore probably the best that I'm we're not, going to get. By the way, I know it almost guarantees that he's going to do one, but 12 up, you do not have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do that to yourself. <laughs> If you do, we will absolutely use it. But oh, if absolutely you do not. We will understand and respect that choice. Yeah, yeah. Don't like. Don't please. God, it's give such us a so short much. series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many episodes is this even going to be? I mean, you know, it's not that short. You know, it'd probably be at least a dozen. Okay, we'll be going for a few months. We'll be going for a few months. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Especially at the pace that we play these games. Yeah. All right. But you know, we feel we've, free to conserve your it. all of two, uh, like puzzles in this hour-long recording session. Uh, so. Feel free to conserve your energy for leisure suit leis- leisure suit queries, though. <laughs> leisure suit queries. We had that all. Oh, uh, and, qu- and Colonel's B questions, which are coming up yeah. uh, even sooner. Also, Colonel's Bequest, although it has its levity, is very much a serious series. Oh, yeah. So, I uh, know. I'm so looking forward to it. <laughs> so, so, Julia, when you join us, uh, I hope you're ready for that. Because <laughs> I hope we get a little punchy. I hope you're, uh, you I know, hope you're ready. Get serious. I hope you're ready. Yeah. For all the unhinged voices that you're going to hear. And I mean, like, it also might be an opportunity. I don't know if, if, like, you know, Julia, who does Twitch streaming and what have you already, and, it, you know, is, is very, um, very good at that, and also, like, has a, a sort of a, a very, I don't know if she's got a very serious personality, but she does sort of take it seriously, and he, she's, like, showing work. While she works on Crimson Diamond, um, in her streams, um, maybe this will be her opportunity to just go completely goblin mode like we do. So, if it if it's while still not ruining her reputation for people who don't know that she's in this, it'll be a good chance to chance to sink to our level. Yeah, yeah. If, if the yeah yeah, if you're gonna do it anywhere, this is the just place. Look, just we'll sink. offer you an opportunity. To be awful with us. Just sink down into the cool, relaxing mud of mediocrity. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you got a little while yet, but yeah. Yeah, just get yeah, ready. Because that's episodes happened. or so. Uh, I really should reach out in DMs to start to and like give her an invite to the Slack channel and so on so that she can uh, so we can start to coordinate. But Oh hell yeah. Okay. Should we play a little more? Yeah, let's at least get our mask, our gas mask, and everything all set up. Uh, give us your uh, your your uh, frontier farm assists or assistance. Uh, for those horses to be farting so badly that a person twenty feet away outdoors would die of it, incredible. That's so toxic. It means it's heavy. Yeah, we got some rope. 
that's for sure. Lance that's, the leather bridle hangs on the smithy's door. That's like stronger than modern day military grade chemical weapons. <laughs> he won't be needing it now, wherever he is. All right. Look at all. Look at our inventory. Our inventory. Look at all this inventory. Our inventory. So you chuck some charcoal into a tin can. You drop the charcoal into the tin can. Nice job. Yep. Uh, now what are you gonna do? Well, that's an excellent question. I am. Uh, I'm missing one piece of the puzzle here. I'm trying to remember what it was. Uh, right. Okay. I know where I have to go. This wagon has been lying here in this sad state of disrepair ever since Mr. Leach, the carriage maker, headed back east to Detroit. Man. You know what? What? I don't have to work tomorrow. I don't have to get up to drive the kids... <laughs> This would have been a good night for me to to, to have a little whiskey to yeah, and, and do this. It's too late now. We're almost done this episode, but still. Look at those sheep can-can dancing. Oh, well. You live, you learn. What the hell was oh. that? What was that? Look at this little area. I saw that in the window. In the window. Oh, that was, uh, that was Hopalong Sing. Oh, Hopalong Sing. Hop along, sings in the kitchen, cooking up a store. Or something equally inedible. <laughs> wow, some of Dad Gum's magic elixir. This stuff can be used to cure a wide variety of conditions. The foremost being sobriety. <laughs> You surreptitiously swap the elixir, looking around to see if anybody's watching. Fortunately, nobody is. Do you have to do it when Hopsing isn't looking out the window? I don't know. There's an ice pick stuck into the barrel here. Y you pull the ice pick out of the barrel and gingerly <laughs> place it in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so you gingerly stick it in your thigh. You just don't bend over suddenly. You'll circumcise yourself. It won't be any skin off your nose, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What, what, what was the game where you were always proposing that the protagonist stab things into their thighs? <laughs> uh, it was, that was King's Quest VI? Like yes. this, I think. You take the knife and stab it into your thigh. <laughs> you take the knife and stab it into your thigh. With all the precision of a serial killer, you definitely poke some holes in the tin can with the ice pick. Ha! Ah! With the ice pick hopelessly dulled and bent by your manly efforts, and with absolutely no regard for the stinking barren piece of locality laughingly called the environment, you carefully sleep tossed the ice pick away. <laughs> Sorry. I'm doing my best. You slip the leather strap through the holes in the tin can. You always wanted a feed bag. A homemade gas mask. Devilishly good work. You adjust the leather strap just so. Hey, that's clever. I feel like a tin can gas mask would A, not work, and B, cut up your face real bad. But you got you got the charcoal in there. It's That's true. all you need. You take a few deep breaths from the gas mask, clearing your head, and you go do some other shit. <laughs> Cause I didn't get I didn't get through the dialogue box fast enough. It's okay. We'll do this multiple times. I'll I'll give you enough time to read it. Uh, I didn't click through, it just I know how this goes. I've, I've been doing it. I understand. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I'm not, I'm not mad. 
just <laughs> just disappointed. That's a nice tree. It's a lot of nice stuff going on. In there. <laughs> Leave it to the wrecking crew. You rattle the doors a bit, but they seem locked for good. Leave it to... Oh, you can barely reach the first letter, but even so, you don't feel right taking a big P right now. <laughs> God. The punctuation to Matt's lines here. Oh, Lord. All right. I think we're, we are, we're well beyond about... Uh, uh, beyond... Out of time. <laughs> this I think we're we're beyond well uh, out of time. <laughs> we're f- we're fading pretty quick. I think we could all, we're fine. We could all use a long weekend, and we all got one coming up. It's good, oh, yeah, it's we good do. system. Yeah, we do. Uh, happy Easter to those who celebrate it. Happy long weekend to those who don't. And um, happy normal weekend to those in com- countries that uh, separate church and state a little better than Canada does, or or who just work at a job that. Like maybe you have tomorrow off, but not the next day, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Happy, wherever, hap- yeah. Wherever you find yourself, I stick wonder and stay. if you're. How many Malaysian viewers do we have, Luke? <laughs> not many, uh, by the by YouTube's analytics. Although interestingly, uh, it appears that we have roughly the same number of viewers from Norway that we do from Canada, according to YouTube. Oh, you Norwegians. I know you well. That's where my blood is from. <laughs> Canada's, Canada's basically just extra Norway. Like, more Norway. I'm, 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 I don't know you well enough, but I feel like that's wrong. No, I'm, I'm half Norwegian. Are you? Norwegian-Irish. And, and half uh, uh, Cree. Indigenous. Wow. Yeah, it's right true. On. So I actually have Norwegian blood. And uh, yeah, no, you're not going to hear from any of them. They're not going to comment. <laughs> we, we love you. We love you guys, but I know I, I, you've, you've got nothing to say. I looked at our analytics and I saw that and I was like, that's great. I should look up how to uh, greet people in Norwegian. And it turns out it's just like, hi. Hi. And, and hey. Hey. Uh, hey. Well, to any of our terse Norwegian viewers... Welcome. <laughs> to our terse Norwegian viewers. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, thanks. I hope you don't uh, abandon the channel now that we've recognized you. <laughs> Made it no, I, they, no I, they, they, they're our terse Norwegian viewers. They will frown and nod. <laughs> If you if you concentrate, you can feel them frowning and nodding, acknowledging our commentary, but only with that gesture and not with a no, comment. The Norwegians are a friendly people, and we and we love them. I actually am I'm not even stereotyping. I know truly nothing about Norway or its people. <laughs> I uh, I know only what I've been told because I've never gone there. But my my biological mother, who is the Norwegian side of my family, has been there. And uh, she says it's great. She says it's light. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one day. If any of you Norwegians would like to uh, give me a little uh, a little tip on where I should visit when I do go, uh, or if any of you want to let Matt stay in your home, no, don't, don't, please. I can't. I'm too. I'm just. I'm. T- I'm a lot, guys. You guys. <laughs> I, you guys. You guys get me for like an hour uh, on the weekends. I'm, I don't. This is, doesn't stop. <laughs> you can ask Alex. This is what I'm like all the time. It's true. <laughs> it's true. You do build up a tolerance after a while, but Matt is one of those YouTubers for whom it's actually not a bit. Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. No, I'm a little quieter that really at home. Elevating but that's a... his personality. Actually, we are very much just ourselves on this show. Yeah. No, that is very true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. With Matt, it's particularly too because. Uh, if Matt's in a bad mood, he won't pretend to be in a better mood. <laughs> it's it's sort of both. He's not putting on a boisterous personality for the show. But also, if he's in a bad mood, he'll just, you know, he'll give a character a stupid voice. <laughs> I be- I'm basically a toddler. So. You'll, you'll, you'll come in hot in the episode and stay yeah. that way for the whole recording session. Yeah, eventually... No, 
yeah, the, the, actually, the more bad mood I am and the more I stick with it, the, the better mood I get in, actually, I find. I've turned it around <laughs> in during episodes before, so. Oh, yeah. It's fun. It's fun. There's a, there's a little man in all of our heads uh, standing at the conveyor belt where the ideas come down. And he's got a little lever there. And he puts the lever forward to let the ideas out. And he pushes it back to keep the ideas in. And the little man in Matt's head just hands each of the ideas a balloon and says... <laughs> I don't know what this lever does. <laughs> that is so true. That's so true. Anyway, yeah, you don't want me staying in your house. But uh, yeah, just let me know. Let me know where I can stay. Uh, uh, or see one day when I when I eventually leave, go go there. Uh, thanks, everybody. Hey, you've been great. And also, you know, maybe give me give me your uh, uh, your frontier farm assistance. And tell me one of the coolest places in where you live where we should visit if we ever travel one day. I love this pun because, like, it's not clear whether we are offering assistance or requesting it. I think it's both. I think it's both. Yeah. Well, I, I was going to, to phrase it, send us your requests for Frontier Farm assists and we will, we will deliver. Yeah, we'll give you any advice you need. But also, <laughs> we, we could use s some farm assists now and then. Yeah, you know our lives yeah. also are complicated. Yeah, Luke and I are constantly battling with uh, this eldritch horror trying to save the world. So <laughs> that's also true. So yeah, please send us your frontier or pharmacist related questions uh, or questions about this game, or feel free to send us some unsolicited advice. As oh. long as I'm soliciting it now, so it's God. not even unsolicited. No, no kidding. Uh, we'll see you next week, though. Everybody, thanks, and uh, I'm I'm I feel renewed. This game is making me feel alive. Yeah, this is good. Uh, you know, I whoa myself today. <laughs> see if I still feel focus on pain. The only thing that's real. <laughs> I'm just gonna go through the entirety of hurt. It's so much of more of the song than I know. <laughs> uh, all right, It'll everybody, but, stick with yeah. it, folks. You'll figure it out. And you know, maybe Lou will be back. <laughs> figure it out. You'll yeah. figure it out. You'll maybe, figure it out. Maybe Lou will be back next week. Maybe he won't. Who the fuck knows? The last time we spoke to Lou, he was. Uh, the last time we spoke to Lou, he was lost in the woods. He couldn't be more specific than that. There were brambles. He kept getting like whipped in the eyes by branches. He was, he was all full of thorns and twigs. He was and screaming twigs. and crying and saying some sort of New Zealand slang. We couldn't tell if it was good or bad. We yeah, sort and of... it had something to do with pee. So like we assume it's good. <laughs> yeah, and they usually are for some reason. Yeah, like all the dangerous animals on New Zealand are dead. So I don't know what could possibly be chasing him. Uh, I don't know. We'll, I think we'll, he's just very lost. Yeah, we'll find out one day. And uh, yeah, I also have a brother, Andrew. He might. We might never see him again. <laughs> we'll in, it, in Andrew's defense, he can't catch a break from the meteors. No, he can't. Every time he gets out of the hospital, he's hit by a new one. Yeah, oh, well. this, he, he he recovered from his rare beneath the earth upwards meet here, <laughs> but that did get him out of the crater where they could take him to the hospital. But then the hospital itself was smashed between two even rarer horizontal meteors. <laughs> the old horizontal meteor trick. I know it well. I wish him well. He's doing. He's he's getting better every day. Every time just like that one soccer goalie, but with for meteors. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sure he'll explain it one day if he ever comes back. <laughs> All right, everybody, stick and stay, stay calm, uh, be well, uh, be, be 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 be. Yeah, be. Just keep 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 being. You'll figure it out. Figure it out, guys. Be out. Figure it out. All right, figure it out. Later. Bye. I'm out of here. Fuck this. See you later. Fuck this. Fuck you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> what a great place to end it.
stopping. <laughs>